Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3, where last episode we continued unwavering resolve, reaching the site of the tunnel collapse to learn that there had been no casualties, and securing the area around the Aether deposits by dispatching all threats. However, on returning to Colony Lambda, Izzard set out to check on his autonomous Levnesses, arriving to find that they'd gone rogue as our party jumped in to help deal with them, earning us his help as a hero and the Strategos class. We now take on our next quest. Class, Strategos. Roll as a healer. Possesses arts that heals allies and weakens enemies. A highly versatile class with many aces up their sleeve. Mission complete. Oh, oh, oh. Meanwhile, and cave. <laughs> a cave, you say? Okay, is it in the group? I'm just wondering how everyone's class is going for Yumsmith currently. So some people have it at halfway there. Level 7 for you. Means that for now, I probably would prefer to put you to this so you could start learning it and teaching some people while putting our hero back to you guys because while you're in the group everyone else can learn that and I can start learning break which is the most important thing hopefully you aren't bad together so what do we have physical defense down debuff on the target heals nearby allies when art hits to a max of 100% of healing power and a regenerate field Soul fire heals allies when arts hits to a maximum of 150% of healing power. So it's like basically a field drop and multiple heals across the bit. Multi blast isn't bad either for another heal. Yeah, that 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 skill set works for me. Yeah, I desperately want more break. Yeah. We can't just leave this be. Well, nothing's attacking me out here at the moment. So we have some more quests to discuss. But at least we have two classes currently being learned. On top of everything, Collectopedia can now be hit again. Maybe from those Levnesses? I do actually want to return back to Colony 30 and see if we can give in any stuff. So maybe I will take that chance to go a long, long way back. Still got so much to explore here after all. And we're nearing level 40 to kind of deal with these things that have been around the place. We're getting there. Where do I want to exactly get to? I guess the entrance is best. Break. Once everyone has break, life will be good. We just, we just need to learn the Yumsmith. Because we can, we can always coin. We can always use the coins. We could even have a tank go evasion tank again and then fund that tank with all the coins, right? That also works. Oh, there's new information here. Everyone and a team haven't contacted us ever since they started their expedition into Dalar Desert. Oh, an issue in the desert? Maybe they think we're still at war. Maybe a quest I missed. What's up with Mecha Friend then? Look at as good as ever, little guy. Not like you can talk, duh. Sure. Your papa. Oh no, I've actually got a Valdi in the group to hand in the stuff, haven't I? When you and the Offseer's flute around the living quarters lately. Is Quest here too? <laughs> Radix Offseer's successor shouldn't have been assigned yet, though. What's going on, I wonder? Colony 30's Offseer. So yeah, the commander had this teacher with mad skills that Masterpon guy keeps banging on about. But Masterpon went on some journey or other, and they ain't heard a peep from him since. Years it's been. I hear he's something else with a hammer. Hope I get to see that for myself sometime. Oh man, I was kind of thinking maybe we'll go back to the desert when I reach level 40 and can fight those guys, but... Have you seen the third unit's Levnesses? They're late coming back and I don't mind admitting I'm worried. I warned them time and again not to neglect their maintenance. Ah, Eren. Snuff it. Could you go out and see what's... What? 
then see what you say has to say about it. So this is the second bit of information. Always nice to have more friends. Ben actually has details himself. The policy reveal crew of hotheads, I'll tell you that. And Michelle, no exception to that rule. If he does doesn't take care of that leaveness, the command's gonna be sad and rather pee. What's he like? If he keeps up his rough and tumble antics, sooner or later he'll end up as beat up as the leaveness. I hope everyone's getting along. Fowdy, has got something to say too. I'm going to go look for parts too. Don't leave me behind. I actually got rep. Alright, we quickly switch to Valdi. I'm coming with you. It takes two seconds after all. And now it's for Papa. Alright, so we've been around, found materials here, there, and everywhere. Not sure if we've got enough. Limber Dorit Jasper was 20%. Budsmith Perpsicle was 30. And to be honest, I could do that again. Oh, ho, ho, phase two completed. Thanks, everyone. Phase two. Meh, so far, Bra Papa only cobbled together parts on hand. Finally can build all important section. Then phase three start. It's finished in no time if we work like this. Just wondering, how much further is there still to go? Finish at phase 10. Do you what, mate? We say we help. We see through to end. Sounds like someone started enjoying himself. Doesn't it? No. Oh, ho, ho. Keep collect material and bring to her papa. Doric's going to be the protector we've always needed. Our mighty guardian. Yeah, I can't wait for it to be done. Just watch me go. God, what parts do I need now? Well, that's actually that quest complete. We did do big friendly friend. We meant to push straight through all the way to phase ten. We can take it slow. There's a ton of scrap out there for us to collect. Come here, make a friend. Take good care of Papa now, won't you, make a friend? <laughs> I see you're just raring to go. Well, I'll do my bit on the parts gathering front too. So, what parts do I need now? Make a friend really put shiny metal back into it. As chief, Le Papa must set example. Cannot afford state of left in dust. Thor currently proceeding on track for phase three. Friends bring materials, then Rapapa give them a speedy quick check. What was it they needed again? They need horn drums. That was ten percent. Fleet pillow stones. That's fifteen percent. That's all we got currently. Not even close to realm of enough. Yeah, well, I gave you something. Don't be a dick about it. <laughs> Job done right. And Riku will get a job done right. Yes. Dork's really coming along thanks to everyone pitching in. Let's keep it up. So it seems like the first part was a quest and the next part isn't. Nopon's flute playing is ear bleedingly bad. A Nopon offseer? Tell me about it. That was an offseer's flute being played, wasn't it? Why has a Nopon got something like that? Well, it seems like I pulled myself away just to do this quest straight after the hero quest. I've gone somewhere else instead of Colony Lambda. That's one. So the commander and those not on us teaming up to build a large-scale Levness. It's good for you, Zay, though. Gives him some space to focus on his work again. I know it's a lot to ask, but look after the commander, won't you? It does look like I'm going out into the Dinar Desert a lot sooner than I expected. <laughs> That's for certain. I don't know if there's anyone else to go to. We do have Collectopedia we can give him. That's actually more information. Why is that not on to fix the power frame? Where the stuff is it gone? You know Nopon love to take long afternoon naps, right? Free Nopon. Oh no. Sounds like a scoop. More people freeing themselves from the shackles of work-based oppression. Can't have that. <laughs> Stuff happened with that last time. Oh my goodness. And so 15 million quests appeared. Tolgrim has 100 affinity to give us and a Zerv Ambrace. 
No one else? More aim. Gives us two gemstones. And a hundred rep. That's it for now. Guess you can always grind affinity that way. I think we reached rank two somewhere, right? Nice. We fought Colony Lambda quite a few times now. They're a tough opponent to handle with so many auto levs. Their fortified position discouraging an assault from our side too. Yes, I concur. Hey, why'd you have to be so smug about it? Sorry. I've already got food on the brain. Okay. So there's gotta be quite a lot of things in here. Free knop on is just a discussion topic. I've actually got that many things. My goodness. Let's discuss the free knop on. And today's story is. The knop on in Colony 30 sure seem to do whatever they please, huh? Taking five after working five, snoozing mid shift, or just plain wandering off? They could just give them dog tags, same as us, manage their time that way. That would certainly have its benefits. You could monitor their comings and goings with much more accuracy. Friends must be joking. That would evaporate all motivation, like dew from Levness on warm morning. That's right. Not on a free creatures, not slaves to core working hours and quotas and tracking lunch breaks. Oh, easy now. Easy, I say. No need to get ticked off. It was all just hypothetical. At least the Nopon of Colony 9 all seem to be pretty serious about stuff. Same for Colony Gamma. Our guys and girls took their work more seriously than those in Colony 30. I think it's Valdi's fault, then. Uh, may well be. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Valdi is probably young. Let's catch up on stuff. It looks like our marks don't disappear even after the flame clocks are smashed. Yeah, we're only free from the tyranny of the flames. It's true. Mark once made cannot be erased. And once my tenth term ends, I'll be gone after all. It's not all doom and gloom though, yeah? Being free from the clocks is already something. Things feel different somehow. I know what you mean. It feels less anxious, like I can breathe a little easier. Exactly. And ultimately, everyone has to choose their actions for themselves. Freedom from the flame clocks expands one's options immeasurably. I think that's huge. Yeah, everyone's got to die sometime. At least that's where they get to live the good life first. The good life. What do you understand by that? Uh, well, I mean like eating good grub and stuff, yeah? I don't know what I expected asking you. Oh, you got a problem? <laughs> good life, though. I could go for a bit of that. Yeah, me too. Okay, that leaves us with... Four missions to do. Two in Colony Lambda, two here. Let's try an expeditionary mission. First, right? Sounds like contact with a Levinus unit dispatched by Colony 30 was lost in Danar Desert. That's the unit Vem was worried about, right? Communications are often disrupted in Danar Desert. It could be down to the sandstorms that are prevalent there. Then maybe the people in that unit still think they need to fight. But we destroyed the Colony 30 flame clock. Looks like they didn't get the message, love. Somebody had better tell them they don't need to kill anymore. Looks like we'll have to meet with them face to face. Yep, off to Danar Desert we go. Off we go. Take it that's not going to set automatically to our quest. A oh, beautiful. So it's actually somewhere we've already explored. At least halfway down from it. Where have we been exactly then? I'm just wondering if I should start there and then kind of like scout up a little bit. Would that take too much time? There's so much map unveiled that we might actually find something on the way. And then Sam walks the opposite direction entirely. Seeing that there's like big spaces of the map. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. <laughs> Can't leave it this way. You're giving me an excuse to explore. I will gladly take it. <laughs> that tight, that, mm, that bit of map down the bottom left. Not acceptable. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the surroundings. I'm just going, gotta fill it in. Ha. 
Okay. So if we head up and kind of go on the outside edge of things is what I'm wondering. You might find a landmark. You might find a variety of things. Are you going to survive attack by one of them? Like, what? What are you swallowing? Why are you swallowing? Who? I have that, you have that map overlay up. Oh, well, it's too tempting, isn't it? Stuff to reveal. Bits to see. I'm going to do the outside edge first. This is where I need, like, a... Hmm. A scale would be nice right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> brum, brum. <laughs> I say that, but equally, I know I've put in nowhere near the hours to qualify. <laughs> that was a cave down there. Wait a second, that's the cave I went through, isn't it? Yes, I have been through said cave. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, blue fish. The moment it doesn't look like there's anything too special in where we're going. Once we've mapped the edge, we can easily work on the innards. I'd better send them off. And rep is rep. Oh, 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 oh. This one's gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Run! No, oh, leave me alone. I'm I'm a friend. Phew. <laughs> I was doing ascending. And... I don't understand what you did. It's incredibly rude. <laughs> Wondering if there's anything down here then. Another blue one. <laughs> oh, so this is the blue side of the cliff, really. Hello, hello. What we have here, then? I knew there'd be some more goodies. You dares win and all that. Did I get that container back there? Oh, I probably did. Give me a kiss. No, I'm not giving the fish a kiss. Be at rest. I don't want my lips to get all dead, basically. That's the real issue, isn't it? Surrounded by level 35 beasties. I mean, I can kill them, but I'll level up. That would be bad. It's a Hulk. And what's it requiring me to do? Yeah, that's not the active quest, sadly. Level 35 quest. Defeat monsters dwelling around the front of Hulk 10. Oh, should I come back to this? Right. Found it. Gonna come back to it when we hit level 35 a bit more naturally. And take it on then. But even then I'll gain loads of experience. I mean, saying that, I know I can completely do that quest right now. I can definitely take those guys on and beat them. The realization is that it's a fast travel point as well, though, that I'm kind of now walking away from. Which means getting back to there takes a bit of time. Ha. Ha. 
But if I fight it when I'm under leveled, I will reach level 35 in no time. What is going on here? All the other guys have got stuff going on it. <laughs> this is a bit of a melee, isn't it? <laughs> Well, my enemies. Thanks for the backup. Who are you, though? We came to bring you back home. Ben was worried about you. Ben? Really? I still don't think I know you, though. We're friends of Valdi is probably the best answer. We're friends of Valdi. You know the commander. I thought if you were an Elevenist, he wasn't interested, to be honest. Okay, but why have you come looking for us? We broke Colony 30's flame clock. You don't need to take life in order to survive anymore. What? Can you prove it? Check your iris. <laughs> what? Ah! There's no flame clock. What about then? He was concerned about you neglecting maintenance or something to that effect. Very light, Ven. Prepare to head back. Roger. You spared us from who knows how many senseless battles. Thank you. Say hi to Ven for us. Gonna want to do that Hulk now to get the Len up, but no, I shouldn't. I should steer clear. That was one more quest complete. I'll take that. So hungry. Don't need the food. Now where's my nearest camp? Let's discuss the other quest of Colony 30 then. Can we maybe train? <laughs> Training. Please, please! Let me let me. Group chat first, right? There sure are plenty of knop on in Colony 30, huh? We certainly don't have any colonies in Agnes with that many knop on. Crazy. Oh yeah, talking of crazy, looks like somebody weird was bound to show up among all those furbles. I think one of them is going round playing an offseer's flute. Yeah, I've heard that too. But his playing's kind of crappy and it's cheesing everyone off. He's playing it around the colony. Could he be training? I think you might be right. A knop on training to be an offseer. I kind of want to meet this guy. All right then, shall we drop by the Colony 30 Residential District? People have been hearing a flute there a lot. Let's do it. Actually, I have to go back to Colony 30. I wish I were up there now. It looks like it won't keep us there, though. Ugh. Let's be off. I think it expected us to discuss that at the canteen, really. Yeah, one more quest complete. I was thinking there'd be more people dialogue. I've got a kind of love-hate relationship with Michelle, head of the 4th Levinist team. He waltzes in the battle like an absolute idiot. Through some miracle or ever, always makes it back in one piece. If it wasn't for Colony 30 Sterling Levinist tech, he'd have copped it long ago. I hope everyone's getting along. I mean, yes and no. Maybe? Which option do you prefer to go with, though? Hello, you say? If Aldi and the Nopon are busy with Doric, it's easier for me to concentrate on other tasks. There's still a mountain of things I need doing. Yeah, well, take care of yourself, mate. Don't worry, work yourself sick. Indeed. He loves fish fillet toasties, he does. 
It's C Mimi. Are you the nup one who plays an off seer flute? Meme! See me, me, sorry. Stop soon. Huh? What was that about? Looks like something's going on. Let's do a bit of asking around and then come back and talk to the Nopom. Good plan. Let's see what the people of Colony 30 have to say. Always nice to have more friends. Ah, to gather information, you say. An up on with the offseer flute. Yeah, that's C Mimi. Why is an up on training to be an offseer? I'm pretty sure it was to take Radek's place after he was killed in battle, so Colony 30 would still have an offseer. Those two were really close. Oh, I see. I just realized I should have checked the level of this quest just in case it throws me into something way above my station. It would if it does. <laughs> Level 21. Much lower down than my station. <laughs> when did these appear? You want to know about the Nopon with the flute? Sorry, I'm a bit busy with some maintenance work right now, so I can't really think about anything else. Oh, actually, though, there was a snoozing Nopon in my way, so I took the fur bag to the first aid station. I could hear this ash awful tune. The first aid station? Okay, thanks. What's Ash a substitute for then? Like death awful? How's the offseer melody practice going, see Mimi? Meh meh meh, no ask please. <laughs> Not bad, eh? You know, see Mimi, if you want, I can take over off seeing. Nope, that impossible. It promised between Radic and see Mimi. But. I see, Mimi. Oh! Phew! We heard you're practicing an off-seeing tune. Can we help? Meh! You off-seer? Do you want to become an off-seer? See, Mimi wants to send off friend. What about the colony's off-seer? Friend of see, Mimi was colony off-seer. So see, Mimi have to send off. See, Mimi have favor to ask. Teach off seeing melody to see Mimi. Then, then take see Mimi to where Radek is. We can do that. Ask of Radek lying in Rute's bar. See Mimi and friends go there. Where's Rute's bar? I hope everyone's getting along. Luckily, destination map is the easiest way for me to figure that out. It was actually up from the husks that we found. Not the husks, the Hulk. Husky Hulk. Fancy pressing that again. Got this area was like this levelish. <laughs> what level did we start this week's session then? 30, right? So we've only gained three levels, which is fine. It's actually allowed the story to catch a little, bit, a fair bit up with us, which is actually what I wanted. Meh! This Radex dog tags! But isn't this place... See, Mimi, I think we've already seen Radek off. That's probable, but it's a good thing. See, Mimi, glad that there's someone to send off Radek, who sent off so many. Did I just ruin this quest by being a bit too... Um... Oh, no. He still did it. Who set off Seer? In past, see Mimi asked Radek this. Radek said he can't die because duty of Radek is to send everyone. So see Mimi promised to do for Radek. I see. Thankings. Goodbye, Radek. Seems the main thing was just to off see. Who off sees the off seers. That was the question. I hope everyone's getting along. 
Oh, that is some free rep, etc. So I'll take it. Those quests were quite fast. Next up on the list. Let's see where I have some affinity to be gained. Erin and C. Mimi in Colony 30. Hey, 250. Some soft foot reps. Hope they appreciate and a braided belt. Another 150. What's my rep level with them now? Not bad. Also, the uh, Agnes warning levels jumped up to two. I didn't actually remember when that happened. Obviously, when I took back Colony Lambda, but I didn't see the, the level rise. So, you can see I'm getting some more affinity level rewards with different colonies now. Slow digestion, etc. Shiny Hunter. Shiny Hunter. We're building it up. Caravan cool. It's not bad. Right. So back to the Pentalus region. Oh, actually, back to Colony Lambda. Really walked a bit, huh? And now we can discuss those matters. Now, the assumption is that in Colony 4 and in Colony 9 and in Colony... No, not Iota. Gamma. There we go. There is probably some more quests. There's probably another teaching quest too, so... I might have to scout that out between sessions. There's got to be I've quite a few food on the brain. triggered out there now, right? All right.